Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. John 6. John 6, verse 33. For the blood of God is the blood that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, always give us this blood. 35. Then Jesus declared, I am the blood of life. Whoever comes to me will never go angry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. 36. But as I told you, you have seen me, and still do not believe. 37. All those the Father gives me who come to me, and whoever comes to me, I will never drive away. Praise the Lord. If you know Jesus, you know life. Tell your neighbor, say, if you know Jesus, you know, you know life. If you don't know Jesus, you don't know life. Yes. If I ask you this question, what is life? You hear a lot of answers. Life is blood. Life is this. Life is that. But for you, Christians or believers, life is Jesus. Life is what? It's Jesus. You can eat. You can drive. You can marry. It doesn't mean that that is life. No. Life is Jesus. Without Jesus in your life, there's no life. It's just a body. If you know Jesus, you know life. If you don't know Jesus, you don't know life. You'll be misled by this flesh. Eating, wearing expensive clothes, getting married, bearing children, that is not life. I've been telling you this, that there is life after this life. Simply means, if Jesus is not part of your life, even if you are enjoying life today, it doesn't mean that you enjoy life tomorrow. So life is Jesus. If you know Jesus, you know life. And when I say that, I mean, you are supposed to know what you know uh, you are doing. If you don't know Jesus, you'll be doing things which is against you and against Jesus. Let me pick a few things. Let me just go direct to uh, verse 33. For the blood of God is the blood that comes down from heaven. That gives life to the world. That gives life to the world. Simply means, if Jesus is not part of the world, there's no life in this world. Even your neighbor, the one you know you enjoy, you know the company every day. Tomorrow, your neighbor will be your enemy. Your neighbor can take your life. Your fellow worker, your fellow brothers, if you are living in this world without Jesus to be part of that life, there's not anything, even your vehicle can take your life. Your marriage can take your life. He came to give life to the world, meaning the world must accept Jesus so that we live peacefully. You care for your brother, you care for your husband, you care for your wife. Caring is not you know buying things. 
There are people who can, you know, give you money. At the end of the day, they have to something. There are people who can buy food for you, not knowing that inside that food there is poison. He came down from heaven to give life to the world. Meaning, before Jesus, there was no life. Even today, if you live without Jesus, you have no life. In your marriage, you call yourself Annie, sweetie, baby, and Jesus is not part of that, you know, marriage. It's just a matter of time. See the way people are killing each other in the world. Jesus cannot kill. Jesus cannot destroy. Someone with Jesus inside his heart will feel for the brother, will feel for the sister. You feel for everyone. You care for everyone. So he is life. Money is not life. Promotion is not life. Marriage is not life. Children is not, it's one of the blessings which God gives to his children. Are you there, people of God? Money is not what? Life. Education is not life. Marriage is not life. It is Jesus who is life in us. Education is a blessing. Those who are educated, you are blessed. Those who are working, you are blessed. We have people here in the world. The people that we call specialists, economists. Name them. No one that can bring solution to what we are facing spiritually except Jesus. Even the climate change issue, there is no education or amount of money that can reverse it back to the way it was before now. No one can do that. You can plant trees, you can do whatever, but you cannot replace the hand of God. You cannot. You cannot replace what he did. It's just a photocopy. You are trying. But when Jesus is involved, you wake up in the morning, you discover that he, everywhere there is, you know, small, small trees coming from the ground. Without even anyone watering the ground. Look at the vegetation outside. It is not rain season. But look at the trees. He gives life to everything. He gives life to the ground. He gives life to the trees. He gives life to human beings. So, the Bible says that the blade that came down from heaven gives life to the world. Praise the Lord. 35. Then Jesus declared... I am the blade of life. Whoever comes to me will never go angry. And whoever believes in me will never be thirst. He declared publicly to say, I am the life. Whoever comes to me will never be angry. Meaning poverty will never be your friend. Problems will never, problem will come, but you cannot take the position of Jesus in your life. He is life. And when Jesus said, I am the life, meaning what? Whatever you need for you to live, he will provide for you. Health, he will provide for you. Food, he will provide for you. Marriage, he will choose everything. So if you say, uh, go, I, I mean, you say, me, I'm educated. Me, I've got money. We are running a company. We have won a lot of, you know, a contract. And tomorrow, you leave this world. Who is going to eat your money? Who is going to eat your money? The people that you hate. The people that you don't like. They will enjoy your money. Jesus is life. If you know him, you know life. You value life. Because you know that this life is from above. He is life, I'm telling you. Eating, counting money, going outside Zambia, you feel good, no, I'm going abroad. Even there in abroad, you can still die. 
and bring you back as a dead body. Hmm? You see the picture. But if you say, yes, I have met a man. This man who doesn't know how to fail. Who doesn't fear anything. The man Jesus. Ah, you are unstoppable. You are unque Your life is... Uh, no one can come near you and succeed. I mean, destroying your life and succeed. No. Understand this, people of God. As long as the world cannot accept Jesus, there will be no peace in this world. Even in our families, there will be no peace. He is the only way that everyone must live in peace. If you say, no, we are peaceful people, we are what, we want to make sure that, even our security personnel cannot claim that, no, we are here for peace. They are calling what? <laughs> they are calling what? What is the meaning of this? You say we are here for peace and then you are calling something. You are calling a weapon here. Are you here for peace? Okay, you see me inside your compound with a panga to say, neighbor, I am here for peace. But your neighbor, why with a panga? No, I'm afraid much to I will use my panga to cut your head. Ah. Are you there for peace? No, because you are ready to kill. Oh, stop, stop, stop. You are running away. Boom. The second one is straight in your stomach. It is only Jesus who is here for peace. He came because 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 as long as you study proper life here, you can't get a If you refuse to be a good person, you can't get a good person. If you refuse to be a good person, you can't get a good person. If you refuse to be a good person, you can't get a good person. If you refuse to be a some of you, you are crying. Before now, there was sweetie, baby, and today, you can't even say, baby. You hear something else. Hmm? No. Life is Jesus, it's not money. So what is life? Life is Jesus. If you know Jesus, you know life. If you don't know Jesus, you don't know life. What you are calling life is not life. It's time bomb. The world will never be at peace. Not until you accept Jesus. Whether at the family level, you need to accept Jesus. As a country, you need to accept Jesus. Even our leaders, for them to govern the country properly, they need Jesus. So that there is nothing like this one is my enemy. This one is not a, my friend. So tell your neighbor, say, if you know Jesus, you know life. If you don't know Jesus, you don't know life. Thank you. God bless you.